Hi uh, everyone, my name is Mr. Abdul Latif. I'm a driving instructor in Mustafa Abu Dhabi. Today I will explain you to how to get a driving license in Abu Dhabi. So let's start. So when you get uh, in the car, so first of all you have to adjust your seat. It's called uh, SMS, seat mirror and seat belt. So how to adjust your seat. First of all, put your left hand on the uh, hold the steering here. I bring your right uh, hand here to hold the uh, lever so like forward and uh, backward your seat so keep it in a good position but don't uh, at least need four finger distance between your knee and uh, the dash dashboard yeah then you have to uh, there is a two lever one is a big one one is a small one if your height is more yeah you just, just put down your lever the seat will come down if you want to up just pull the lever and and uh, here is a small one, so pull up after you have to adjust your uh, big, like uh, the big part. Seat up, uh, so you have put your hand here. If the seat is uh, the part is reached on the top of the steering, just put uh, down the lever. So you should, you like you should show your hand should be like this, yeah. Right. Then the set your the center mirror. So how don't hold like this. Uh, most students hold like this is is uh, wrong. Always hold it from behind. So you should see that behind this the glass, the old glass you can see. Then uh, after the center mirror, uh, set this right and left mirror. So how to adjust your right and left mirror? Here is a small button. Just put uh, change it to for the right, and then here is a joystick. So you can right and left. The, and now I will show you how to adjust the mirror. So twenty percent. Look is now is. I can see the, uh, the body too much. I should see 20 percent body, car body, and after I should see it, this uh, the first door, the hand, handle little. Then uh, this this is okay, so correct position now. Don't put more down. Then change it uh, for the left. The same thing. First of all, change the the button here for the left. The same thing you have to adjust from the joystick the left mirror also then you have to adjust your left mirror same same thing yeah so now i can see my car body like a, a little more so it should be like a 20 percent uh, like a 20 percent uh, my car body like this yeah 20 percent in a mirror so now look at 20 percent is a is car body yeah? after you see the, the this this dog the handle lid then don't put more down you can now you can see uh, half sky also and uh, half uh, road also yeah half sky and you know, half road you have to adjust like this after mirror uh, I will put the seat belt so hold it like this here yeah? this position and plug it here like this Today we are using the uh, same car, <clears throat> same car you can get in uh, a smart driving test also in a test here. It's a automatic car we are using today. So it's a automatic car you can use only with a one feet. With a, with a one feet, the, the left feet you have to put in the left side. So how do you have to use from the fat feet? The best way, put your leg eh, in the middle. So you can use both in a one leg like this here. Yeah? Don't remove is wrong here. Yeah. Just put what is very easy. You put in the middle and you can exit accelerator. You can use brake. So we have to use uh, like automatic car. This P for a parking, R for reverse, N for neutral, D for drive, L for log area. Yeah. So we don't need to use the L L is for the hill area. So normally in a test you have to use the parking or sometime if you are the first one inside the school, uh, you have to use the right the reverse. G normally uh, P and G if you know the number one so you no need to uh, use the reverse given the test here yeah? before moving I will explain you some uh, like I give instruction uh, or I give some information uh, about the road so before moving when you uh, like driving on the road always uh, scan the road uh, like all the time uh, look as far look far away uh, keep safe distance between uh, the car at least like a three, three second and twelve meter, and three car distance here. Yeah. Always uh, we use the right lane because we are driving a learning car uh, in an exam. 
So if you do, there is a heavy vehicle front of you, so you have to overtake by self. Examiner will not tell you to uh, change the lane like for uh, overtake. So you have to change the lane like by self. During the exam, examiner can force you because the speed limit is uh, 60, but examiner can force you like yellow speed, go speed up, speed up. So if there is no issue. So you can increase your uh, speed. Uh, so they will not uh, like fail you. Look at the far okay, you have to keep it eye on the signboard also which uh, because uh, you have to you know what is coming on on the road ahead uh, all the time you have to move your head because the head movement is very important uh, in a test uh, all the time every five seconds you have to check the mirror center mirror four seconds and five second mirror like after five and again left you have to move like this yeah because no head movement after you uh, get a problem in the test you have to the observation is very important in a test time because in a brake control, observation, and a steering control, and hold your steering in this position. Yeah, this is straight, straight is wrong. Like, I have this is a clock, it's a 10 o'clock and a 2 o'clock. Hold it like this in this position. Yeah, no, no, like this, no, like this. Yeah, uh, this, like this position. Now, I'll give you the information about uh, roundabouts. How we uh, do the roundabout? Uh, I will uh, explain to you. Now, yeah, I'm gonna give you the information about the roundabout. Yeah, here is a three lane, the first and second, and like a third. Yeah, the first lane you can use for the right, also, you can use for the straight, also. The same, the same lane. If you want to go right, put in the kit right, like after 100 meter, put in the kit right. And roundabout, if first two lane empty, yeah, there's no car, so continue. You don't need to stop uh, for in roundabout. But uh, if you want to go right, but in the last lane, there's a heavy vehicle, the first two lane is empty, but there's a one heavy vehicle truck. So again, don't go try to go right and just let them go. Always avoid the uh, in roundabout, like from the heavy vehicles. Yeah, if you want to go, if you want to go right, so put indicator right before. If you want to go straight, so no need to use the indicator before. So first of all, it should be three in empty. The three in one, two, three should be empty. Then you can enter in roundabout. And then when you reach here in a half roundabout, put put indicator right and follow exit in the same lane. Yeah, for the same lane. Now the center lane. You can use only for a straight. The center lane you cannot use for the right, no for the left, no you cannot use for the U turn. Yeah, so for center lane also, also should be three lane empty. One and two, three. Yeah, so this area should be like empty. If there's a no car, no car coming from this way, from this way, so you can enter and run the ball. So no need to use the indicator. So when you reach in the middle, so put the indicator right and uh, follow the same lane center or exit in a center lane. Yeah, don't change the lane inside the roundabout is not you allowed to change the lane the extreme left the last extreme left you can use for a straight also uh, you can use it for the u-turn uh, for the left also the extreme left you can use for the u-turn also so we are now if you want to go for a straight you know for the u-turn for left you should use indicator left before or enter before and it should be three lane empty one two three empty then you enter if you want to go straight when you reach here put indicator right in the exit in the last same lane if you want to go for left when you reach here change indicator to right and exit in a last lane after keep going and a change one by one no direct here yeah? one let's check the mirror and uh, right shoulder blind spot yeah it's one and one again one by one if you want to go for a u-turn so again change it to indicator to right here and exit in the last lane look at after keep going increase your speed uh, then check the mirror and on a blind spot and put the indicator to go to the middle and then go more little increase more and check it again one by one and uh, go back to the right we will drive all the on the right lane all the time so let's start it's the same uh, like you can get the par car in the parking with the examiner so we want to start first of all uh, press the brake and uh, shift the gear to drive there is a button behind the gear or hold it the button and bring it to drive and the third one like like uh, after put handbrake down then check the center mirror and uh, left mirror if there is a car coming so uh, bring your steering like in this position if you're the first one in the parking don't turn more and check it again and make sure there is no car it's very important because this is the, your first impression with examiner so there is no car so when you go with a one accelerator with the warning don't like release and increase yes yeah? then keep your car straight 
then increase your speed and again every five seconds just uh, check the mirrors yeah move your head five seconds and up left mirror yeah look it far away if there is a, a heavy vehicle so you change the lane keep it eye on the signboard so this coming around the boat we are going right this is the 250 meter signboard from the 100 meter signboard we have to start decrease so before decrease we have to check once uh, center mirror before break then start control from the this is the 100 meter signboard so now i check the center mirror and i start loose break and from the blue signboard put indicator right now i have to focus on the roundabout so decrease your speed before line your speed should be uh, 20 5 meter before and check left side like here is the one car but there is a no more car so i can keep continue so no need to stop and run the boat if there is no car yeah look at ahead if you when you keep your tire straight then check the center mirror and left mirror and increase your speed because the speed limit is 60 it should be no less than 60 maintain 60. if examiner force you yellow speed up so you have to increase your speed there's no issue to, they can fail you they want because they want to check your control they, uh, they want to check your brake control the steering control if they force you to speed speed going up but should be a car should be in, in the middle so this time uh, we are going straight the straight uh, from the first lane yeah so no need to use the indicator before the roundabout so we are, we are going straight the first two lane empty uh three lane empty for the straight you can go continue from the handy meter sideboard check the center mirror use the brake and focus on the roundabout and before move your head and maintain your car before five meter check once again look at the roundabout is empty so no need to stop before the line so when you reach in the middle here put indicator right for the exit exit in the same lane make sure speed is no more than like uh, uh, like 35 because in a bend around the boat maximum 40 speed and a minimum uh, 35 is around the boat speed is no more than 40 and uh, no less than 35 this time uh, after uh, straight this time we are going uh, center straight if during the exam the examiner can tell you center straight he's telling you to go straight from the center line like he give the instruction so first of all check the center mirror and left mirror but there is a one car coming so let him pass because his speed is more than us so center mirror and left mirror and blind spot blind spot is very important then when you make sure then put indicator slightly turn your steering yeah and then change the lane so when you reach here off the indicator and before brake check one center mirror and use loose brake yeah and we'll check it from from left side one from far away and maintain your car before five meter make sure there's no car no need to stop from the board it was empty so keep continue maximum 40 many of 30 when you reach in the middle put in the get right exit in the same lane because you are coming from the center and follow the center lane same lane make sure your car in the middle between the line after you have to take right automatically because I will in him center check the center mirror and right in blind spot here blind spot is very important make sure there's no car and put indicator and switch the lane yeah slowly slowly don't turn your steering too much of the indicator and when you're driving again keep your eye on the signboard some cars stop in front of you and uh, change the lane it responds them on time Keep it sign look for the hump also so this time we are going straight from the last lane if the examiner tell you to go straight from the last lane at uh, some student they don't know say but you can use the last lane for the straight also so now there's a hump so reduce the speed for the hump before brake check mirror reduce your speed before hump your speed should be 10 but here is a no pedestrian no one waiting or no one crossing no, no need to stop if there is someone waiting for the zebra cross here yeah, already they are crossing so stop before the line you yeah, don't cross the line so put your hazard uh, and uh, stop your car but uh, this time is not uh, uh, pedestrian so continue no need to stop but reduce for the hum 
uh, before half your speed should be 10. So this time you're going straight from the last end, chain the lane one by one, and center mirror and left and shoulder slightly, yeah, and she put indicator left and chain the lane. Then if you're close, yeah, check it again, center mirror and left mirror and shoulder and chain the lane. Now reduce the speed for the hump. Before hump, your should, should speed should be 10. When it's come 10, release brake. Now increase again. Now you have to focus on the roundabout. Maintain your car. Before hump your speed, before roundabout, your speed should be uh, 20. Look at that, it's a higher as a bike. So let them go. Now three lane is empty, so we have to continue. Enter in a last lane. So when you reach here, change the indicator right. So don't touch the line inside the roundabout. Exit in the last lane. Uh, now check the increase the speed and check the balance by cars. Now after automatically you have to go back to the right. Change the select the center mirror and right shoulder. Change the lane only one. After I have to check it again. Center right uh, blind spot lane indicator and change the lane. Always you have to, after left, after U turn, you have to come back to the right lane. We are going around the boat left. So, left you have to use extreme left. You cannot use this for the first two lane for the left. Yeah. So, now there's a one cycle man. If he's still uh, on the road, but he is uh, still. Eh? So, first of all, try to change the lane is better. But sometimes it's not possible to change the lane. They give you one meter distance. Don't cross the line. But give one meter distance. But now we are going around, coming around the boat left. So go to the extreme left. Check the center mirror and left and the shoulder indicator and chain one by one. Again, I will check it center and left and uh, shoulder and indicator and chain the lane. Now we have to decrease the speed uh, from the 100 meters. Check your center mirror, use the loose brake, and now we have to focus on the roundabout. <clears throat> Here is a give you sign. Decrease your speed. Look at here's the heavy vehicles. I will stop before the line. I will not enter. So when is the roundabout empty? After I have to enter. Now the roundabout is a one car is come. Let them pass. Because we have no priority, they have priority. So let let them go fast. Now the roundabout is empty. Uh, I have to uh, enter in a roundabout. So make sure uh, a roundabout maximum 40 and minimum 35. Don't touch the line. Here is a close, keep close to the solid line, but don't touch here. Indicate right here for the exit. And the exit in the last lane. Keep your tire straight, increase your speed, and check your balance. Then go back to the right automatically. You have to go back. Examiner will not tell you. So check the center mirror and right in blind spot, indicator, and chain only one. So after you have to go back to the right. Center mirror and right, here is intersection. So I will not change the uh, front of the intersection. Always <coughs> avoid the intersection. No change here. So center mirror, let them pass, the one car is coming. In the blind spot, center mirror, right, shoulder, indicator, then change the lane. So when you make sure, when you satisfy it, there is no car, then uh, go back to the right. But sometimes the right is very busy. There is a heavy vehicle, there is a truck, bus, then stay on the uh, continue center lane. Don't try to go right. This time we are going for a U-turn. So uh, look at, uh, here is a front, uh, one is a heavy vehicle front of us. So during the exam, examiner will not tell you to, don't stay behind, don't drive behind the heavy vehicles. You have to change the lane automatically. You have to overtake, but this time we are going sun check center mirror left indicator and change the lane. Yeah, and once again, center mirror and left mirror and blind spot and then indicator and change the lane slightly steering turn. Yeah, so from 100 meter, check center mirror and uh, use start control like use loose brake. Don't use hard brake uh, before link check once from before and uh, reduce before five meter before the line. Check once again. Look at here is a no cars inside the circle, so no need to stop. Continue. Enter in the last lane. Uh, don't uh, touch the solid lines. Keep between the lines. So when you reach here, uh, make make sure maximum uh, speed is in around about uh, 40. So change indicator right here, and, and exit in the last lane.
So now you have to little, you have to increase your speed, and you check your balance, keep your tire straight, and now go back to automatically go back to the right. Check center mirror right and blind spot in indicator. Now I will not change the third lane because why always don't change the lane in front of the intersection. Avoid the intersection. After intersection, center mirror and right and blind spot indicator and change the lane. Now we are going in a parking. So first mirror, then indicator, then use loose brake. You know the age when it's come, then start turning. So when you come inside, reduce your speed, adjust your car, go slowly and stop your car. You should see at least you should see the bend, the corner. When you see and stop your car, and when you stop, first of all, pull handbrake and shift the get parking gear. Here is a way uh, during the exam, two kind of uh, like a st parking uh, can stop. The examiner can stop you uh, front of the in like on the on the road is calling emergency stop in a parking like in a bus stop uh, normally. Now you are going for like you know uh, for the emergency stop. Here is the intersection. We cannot change the lane in front of the intersection. Examiner can tell you, for example, do in a center lane stop huh? emergency stop. First of all, middle mirror, right and shoulder. Indicator the one car is coming uh, speed is more than us. So let them pass Then after that put indicator right and uh, change the lane and After when you come in keep your tire straight mirror and hazard uh, After you lose brake, bring your car to the side No too close not too far at least like 1.5 feet distance uh, from the side Should be use stop your car smooth. Yeah, then pull your handbrake and uh, sh shift the gear. I hope you will like this video. This video will helpfully in a smart driving test. If you need uh, practical classes or parking classes, you can contact me. My screen the number is on the screen here. Yeah? And uh, thank you for watching. Uh, please uh, subscribe and uh, like my channel. Yeah, thank you.